Hello there, my name is Rapid Mystic, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And uh, first of all, today's episode is going to be very short. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be actually showing you uh, what I did uh, a couple of hours ago. Uh, so I just needed to take my mind off things, so I logged in, and uh, of course I uh, picked up the freighter missions and sent in new ones. They will be back tomorrow in all likelihood. Uh, but I did do some uh, decorating. Uh, well, I know it still seems empty here, but for those of you that do remember, uh, these are new stuff. So we have a uh, sort of a command and control room here, uh, CNC room, if you will, with uh, four of these. Two more will be added uh, here and here, probably. This is still my like filming location. I just didn't want to remove it. Uh, you know, it's just there. Uh, and of course, we have a uh, planning table here where uh, the board meetings happen, I suppose. Well, not really board meetings, but well, sh where ship meetings happen. Yeah, this is like separate from the bridge. This is uh, this is like, I don't know, a communication station. Just seemed nice to build it. Maybe, add, maybe I'll add some extra terminals around it. This is where people manage data. And of course, we have one of these just, just for good measure. A random weapon rack over there. Because I forgot to remove it, I suppose. I was going to build something there. didn't actually happen. So initially, what I wanted to do is... Um, when we go into interior, uh, there is a light table. So what I wanted to do is scale it up, which you can do. And place stuff on it so that it seems like um, one of those... Uh, that you see in the movies where there's like a war table going on. And uh, people are moving pieces around just to just on the board so they can uh, know what they're going to do with the troops. Uh, the problem is placing stuff on the light table is uh, difficult unless you want it to be floating around. So uh, instead I did this double workbench, which is kind of nice. And uh, yeah, uh, there is, uh, this is basically the current battle going on where we have uh, ships in combat and ships that are heading towards combat. And of course the Atlas station is being guarded by the Sentinels because it is. Uh, the other thing I did, I'm, did I? Oh, I did pick it up. Okay. I was uh, transforming some magnetized ferrite into uh, pure ferrite. I did actually pick up... Uh, yeah, we're with the anvil again. I did actually pick up... Uh, what did I pick up? Uh, silver, gold, magnetized ferrite. Did transform some of it into pure ferrite, so that's actually kind of good. And picked up a bunch of frost crystals, uh, just for good measure. So we're not really going to need the light here. I really do want the ship lighting. Like, these are huge lamps. They should be providing a lot of lighting. They are not. Uh, put the storage compartments here and in order. So that's zero, two, three. Yeah, one is missing because one is being used as a food shop. It is downstairs. And of course, we have uh, some of them used and some of them named, like, for example, basic materials. So this is materials that, you know, uh, use basic components to be made, like magnetized ferrite, for example, synthesized for magnetized ferrite. So yeah, you know. And uh, these are advanced ones, which use the basic ones to be actually made. And uh, we'll be just stockpiling them for now, and eventually we'll make the most, uh, uh, the hardest to get components, and we'll be giving them away in the Nexus. Uh, and this is where the other storage is, where the cooking room is. This is the storage number one. I'm, I'm sorry about this, but. I sorry about the silence there. I was just, I've been very, very uh, nasally, and. Uh, the reason why, I, I did mention this in the other games that I play, uh, but these will probably be removed. All right, one more thing. Um, yeah, you can actually see through the ship. In, if you do it right, you can see through the ship, or if you go into the second floor. So the reason uh, today's episode is going to be short, A, my nose is running again. Uh, running away from me, hopefully, soon, so I don't have to bother with it anymore. Uh, but uh, the other reason, nope, sorry, wrong one, freighter. Uh, so if you do it right, you can see the entire ship. There it is. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, come on, come on. Yeah. It's a little bit finicky, but it can happen. You can even see the exterior somewhat. You can see where we've built. Come on, come on. It's it's a little bit. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And it's kind of cool. Uh, so uh, yeah, the company that I worked for has uh, shut down permanently. Uh, everybody got uh, laid off. So. Uh, things are not good for me. Um, gonna be finding a gonna be uh, finding a different job. I have different, basically the same thing. I've I've, I've always worked this, so it's my thing. 
Uh, but it's gonna be kind of difficult, you know, these times are not exactly the easiest to find a job with, especially when uh, people are, uh, not just our company is laying off people, a lot of people are, most people are even staying at home, whether they're being forced to or not, you know, it's uh, just things that are happening. Yes, we're using the anvil temporarily. Uh, the reason for that is... Um, just gonna very, very quickly go... Oh, wait, I shouldn't have actually taken the anvil. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, the reason we're using the anvil is because of the uh, stack mod we're using, Siphon Stack Mod. Uh, it is interfering with us getting upgrades for the living ship, so temporarily we will not be using the living ship. I'm really sorry for the silence, it's just, I, can't, I, I drank a pill earlier, it will be better, but it's gonna take an hour or two to actually uh, take effect, and uh, that's basically gonna be tomorrow's episode, not not today anymore. Uh, so I was supposed to take the Viper, because I'm gonna do something off camera, if uh, I do remember to do it. Uh, because we need to actually uh, finish upgrading the Viper soon. Like, the, this, this stuff is almost done, but we need to like finish doing it. I guess we'll do that in the next episode, get ad, uh, cadmium, uh, emerald wiring looms are easy to get, to buy, um, because I do like the Viper. I was meant to start using it a while ago, but it hasn't happened. Uh, so, uh, what was I on about? I totally forgot. Alright, so I did message, uh, did put it on the Nexus forum that, uh, the mod is bugged. I did ask when it's going to be updated. Hopefully I'll have a response soon, but it looks like the mod might be, uh, you know, just out. Uh, considering that this is a mod that will just is specifically directed at permadeath players, uh, because let's face it, if you're a normal or survival or even creative, creative you, you don't care, so normal survival, uh, you will have the these stack sizes. You know, you'll be able to get this up to ten thousand when in the cargo or the starship or the freighter. So you're all good. You're not gonna need that mod. The only thing you won't be able to do is you won't be able to get these to uh, ten thousand. That's not really a big deal. Uh, that's not that big of an inconvenience. You have like three or four of these, which don't really matter that much. You can all be a hundred is more than fine. Is what I'm trying to say of these. Uh, but yeah, uh, we are. Uh, uh, for now, I'm going to be playing with the Viper for a couple of episodes, and hopefully the creator of the mod will be able to actually fix things so they work properly. Uh, but I'll be ending things off here. I know it's been an episode where I just talk for a little bit, uh, for le less than 10 minutes, but I was expecting this, to be honest. Plus, I, there was no way I was going to continue uh, past this anyway, because I don't have any more time uh, to record for uh, the episode to be out. And my nose is killing me, and uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm a bit down, uh, so hopefully soon we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sorry for you hearing that. I'm just... When I have nothing... When my hand is not on the keyboard, I'm just playing around with whatever's on the desk. Uh, for now, though, I'll be ending things off here. Now, my name's been Rampa Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.